Hey everyone, how's it going? Today, we're going to look at five tips on how to instantly improve your guitar playing and bump your guitar playing to the next level. Tip number one is memorization. It's super important to memorize what you're playing. If I'm learning a new song or a new chord, and I'm always looking at the book to see what to do, that means that the book is telling me what to do, or your tabs are telling you what to do. But if you memorize, then you're the boss. You're the one that's in control. And then you can play back with more expressiveness, or you have more control of what you're trying to play. So say, the first thing I want to do is to memorize something. If you haven't learned how to memorize, it's a skill so you can practice it. The first thing you're going to do is look at a small part of the song that you're trying to learn. Say just two or three measures. Then what you're going to do is look at it once, close the book, and then try to play it back without looking at the book at all. You might only get 20% right, but that's okay, you're just starting out. What you need to do next is open the book, open the score again, and look at the parts that you messed up. Those parts, take those, and then try to play those back again without playing this part that you already learned. And that way, when you do it little by little, you will improve in your memorization. The super important thing to do is to close the book, close the score as soon as you can, and try to play it back by memorization as soon as you can. The less you look at the score, the better it is. Tip number two is don't grab. This tip is super important because I see a lot of more advanced guitarists still doing this, or even some guitar teachers that fail to mention it to their students. So the guitar neck, it's not an ax handle. It's not a hammer, you don't need to grab it. If you grab too much, you might cause some injuries. So it's super important to think of your hand as more like a vise. What you wanna do is you wanna think of your thumb pushing against your fingers. This way, you will be able to release your thumb and fingers quicker when you need to do, say, a chord change, and you also have more force when you need to do a bar chord. It's also super important when you're shifting to be able to release your fingers quickly. Tip number three, destination. So you have to look at your destination and not at where you're at. This is super important philosophy for life and it's also good for guitar playing. So what that means is that when you have a shift to do, say I'm going from the second fret all the way to the seventh fret. This is a pretty big shift I need to do. So what I need to do is I need to look at the destination before I start moving. If I follow my hand as I move, this means I might overshoot, I might go too far, or undershoot, I might not make it to my destination. If, however, I don't follow my hand but I look at where I need to go, if I look at the 7th fret, then that means I will move my hand directly to where I'm looking and I will arrive at the destination. So before you start your shift, Look at where you need to go and then move your hand. Tip number four is top finger first. When you're playing any sort of chord, the most important finger that you need to put down first is the top finger. This is because your hand is shaped in a way that the first thing that you want to put down is your top finger and then the rest of the fingers will go down naturally where they need to go. Take for example the C chord. In the C chord, our top finger is the third finger. If I put down my third finger first, the rest of the fingers fall down naturally where they need to go. However, if I start with the bottom finger, let's say I put down the first finger, now my hand needs to do some sort of unnatural rotation to get up and place the rest of the fingers. This is an extra move that I need to do, and it's kind of unfortunate because now it's going to give me even more time to place the rest of the fingers for my C chord. So always start with the top finger first. Tip number five is called cheating. So say we're learning a new song, and the strumming pattern for one measure is down, down, up, up, down, up. Now, say we have to go from the C chord to the G chord. You might think that you need to have the C chord all the way to the last upstroke before you get to change. But this isn't really the case. What you can do is you can cheat. On the last upstroke, we're going to do our chord change. So you let go of all of the strings, and as you play the open strings with the upstroke, you're going to move your fingers to the next chord. So what this will look like is my C, on the very last down, on the fourth beat, I play all of the C as I normally would, and on the upstroke, I play open strings, and I move my fingers, and I switch to the next chord. This is what I like to call cheating, 
because you're not actually holding your fingers for the whole duration of the measure, but it actually seems to work really well, and a lot of guitar players do this, and it really helps you if you're going to play something else really fast. That's all for the video today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please give the video a like and let me know what you think in the comments section. Thanks for watching.